Hi, my name is Jenny. Thank you for joining us to, for today's Lunch and Learn. We are going to have a species spotlight on the Eastern Screech Owl. The Eastern Screech Owl is the smallest species of owl that is found here in Florida. They are found all along the eastern coast up until the middle-ish of the country in the United States. Eastern screech owls prefer hardwood forests. The reason for that is that they are cavity nesters. So when it's time for them to raise their chicks, which begins about late March, early April, they'll start scoping out a nice cavity in an older tree to do so. They will lay one to six eggs during the breeding season. And on general, three to five chicks will fledge from that. Screech owls are one of the more common species we admit to the raptor trauma clinic every year. In spring, many patients are baby birds. Screech owls hatch out of eggs the size of a ping pong ball and are no bigger than a cotton ball. Because screechies are cavity nesters, if you trim your trees in spring, you may cut down their nest without even knowing there are baby birds in the limb. Because of this, we encourage people to trim their trees in fall. There are three color morphs that you can find here in Florida. You can have a brown morph, like Tony here. You can have a gray morph, which is exactly as it sounds like, grayish in color. And you can have a red or rufous morph, which is very red, ginger looking Eastern Screech Owl. The Eastern Screech Owl is also identified by their size. This is an adult, believe it or not. This is as big as they're gonna get throughout their lives. So another way to identify the Eastern Screech Owl, not only by their size, but by these small tufts on the top of their head, close to where their ears are or their ear tufts. Scientists are not 100% sure what the purpose of the ear tufts is for. Some believe it may be for signaling. Some believe it may be a way to tunnel sound into the ear while the Eastern Screech Owl does its nocturnal hunting. So Tony is one of our education ambassadors here at Audubon Center for Birds of Prey. Tony was admitted May the 4th, 2002 after he was pushed out of the nest by his siblings. When he came into the center, both of his eyes were badly damaged. Unfortunately, one of his eyes were um, irreparable. So veterinarians decided to surgically close the eye in order to promote the healing process. He is 18 years old. The longest li living screech owl in the wild was documented to be 14 years and six months old. So Tony's beating that by a long shot. Because of that, he is getting a cataract in his good eye and he gets a daily dose of three medications in the morning and in the evening. The center has another ambassador screech owl named Sanford. He was rescued 10 years ago after he fell out of his nest as a baby and injured his wing. Sanford is a fan favorite of guests at the center and even has his own Facebook and Instagram pages, which can be found in the description. The best way to raise baby birds are with their parents, but when we can't re-nest a baby, a foster parent works as well. After generally ignoring the baby screech owl patients for years, Sanford this year decided it would be a good idea to feed the babies. Watch in this clip how he quickly feeds the baby in the middle a piece of food.
Thanks for joining us and see you next time.